This was our super secret guest oh, that I didn't put. Oh. Yeah, I, I told people they had to show up to find out who the super secret oh, guest gosh, was. Okay. Yeah. Well, secret but not special. Yeah, let's see how we're <laughs> Well, hi everybody, I'm Darrell Naylor Johnson. I serve as Vice President for SCAD Savannah. Um, just before I talk about SCAD, I'll tell you about myself and Thomas Ware Neighborhood. Uh, in 1996, Julia Mobley contacted me about paying a mural at DCYS, and uh, we did a, uh, one of our first community murals um, in Savannah, was actually down in that village next to Ms. Mobley, reaching out to us. So that was my first uh, connection with uh, Thomas Square Neighborhood. Um, I'm a longtime member of St. Paul's Episcopal Church right around the corner. Um, and uh, part of that, my role there was uh, serving on our um, uh, uh, development corporation. So we developed uh, Sisters Court in its original uh, opening. And uh, then we also have um, three properties um, here as part of the Lincoln Street Channel um, in the day. But we are moved our rectory uh, here on the corner. And uh, then we have two other uh, buildings on the block of the church. And so this has been a neighborhood for me um, in a lot of different ways. I actually live in Baldwin Park, and so I, you know, but, but um, for me, you know, we walk here for church, and um, you know, we're very involved with our, with our church. But um, you know, doing Sisters Court was, uh, was a big deal for us. Um, you know, we since sold that through the Development Corporation um, some years ago, and we did the development, and they developed a larger addition on the Sisters Court. Um, but so yes, that's my relationship uh, with uh, this neighborhood. I've been at SCAD for 31 uh, years, and it um, doesn't feel like that. Um, so one of the things, um, you know, I'm asked a lot, and I'm you know, out in the community, and people will say, well, you know, um, they see SCAD as this place with a whole lot of buildings. And so what I try to do is enlighten people in terms of, well, why do we have all the buildings? And uh, so the building is this, for obviously we have classes in them. And with our class size of 20 to 30 students, um, that's a part of where um, square footage becomes very important because the classes are small. And so with our growth, then we have the spaces in order to accommodate that. Um, the other question I get is, um, you know, why, why can't I just walk into the buildings? And um, because we're having classes in them, and so when you're in class, you don't interrupt classes. Uh, so, you know, but I kept hearing that a lot and just kind of talking to people in the community. And so what I'm really focusing on is to share with people, well, what kind of things can you uh, relate to a SCAD? And there's so many things uh, that happen that are not classes. They relate to our classes in a lot of ways. So I brought a few of those with me uh, to share with you uh, this evening. Um, one, one thing that if you haven't attended, uh, so SCAD, I'm gonna leave these all here on the table, but uh, SCAD story. Uh, this is a um, immersive interactive story uh, it's a 4D interactive story of SCAD. And so this takes place in our flagship building at 342 Bull Street. And uh, it's free, it's a 20 minute show. And uh, you go through, uh, we developed this project with a, uh, 30 SCAD students and a, a, uh, um, an Imagineer who worked with us to create it. So it's a pretty cool experience. We haven't done it before. I'll leave this here for our SCAD story for you. The SCAD Museum of Art is, um, is really an award-winning um, uh, museum that features contemporary art. Um, it's been devoted many times as one of the best museums in the Southeast. Uh, the architect for, uh, for the SCAD Museum of Art was actually Christian Sutil. Uh, Christian, who's a, I would call him kind of a Savannah, Italy native, a combination of going back and forth. Uh, and he's also a SCAD graduate. And so if you don't know Christian, uh, if you go to Plant Riverside, Christian was the architect uh, that redid all the Plant Riverside area. And um, so he was the architect of the SCAD Museum of Art. He was named the AIA Young Architect of the Year that year for his design uh, of the SCAD Museum of Art. So um, now I tell everybody, you know, because it's contemporary art, and so it's, it can be challenging. Um, the fun part is, you know, it's contemporary, so you don't have to like have all this vast historical knowledge to go in and check it out. The uh, couple things within the museum, uh, there are a number of galleries that are in the space. Uh, one of the feature areas is the Walter Evans Center for African American Art. And so we feature um, in that gallery is always featuring prominent African American artists or things from the Walter and Linda Evans uh, collection. And um, who are both, again, the Savannah natives who 
uh, really wanted to have a home for an amazing, uh, it's probably the preeminent best collection of African American art um, in the country. And so uh, we host uh, lectures and events, uh, not only for the center, but also for the museum. And those, um, you know, there's a, a nominal fee for sort of uh, membership or for visits. Uh, and then, of course, we do have like open talks. So if you want to come sometime, you see an event happening. Um, most of the lectures are typically not a fee for you to come and enjoy those. So I brought, I wasn't sure how many people would be here. I'd say you are much at Baldwin Park, and you know, we usually get like 15 people. So I was like, oh, maybe 15, but this is a pretty good number. I was very, very impressed. Um, we do ours in the morning. Maybe that's the problem. No one wants to get up in the mornings. Uh, I'm a 5 a.m., you know, 4:30 a.m. person. So, that's not. but anyway, uh, so I have some museum passes. I'll leave it here. You take a few, um, and uh, if you haven't been to the museum again, check it out. Um, now, on the museum, these so. These are the dates of the lecture that we just the show we started in the um, uh, beginning of the year. These are the dates of the lecture, it's not the dates of the passes. So you can still use the passes, trust me. Uh, Jason has my contact if you, if you have any issue with it. With, but, but I'll leave these, a stack of these, you can take a few and check it out and uh, have, a, have, some, have a museum visit if you like. So one of the things that you know, um, so many um, SCAD graduates, we look right now, I think a recent number, but around 22% of our graduates remain um, in Georgia. So again, it's Atlanta, it's Atlanta campus. Um, and so they, you know, work and have businesses and do things here. And so I put together, this is a little, this is a little SCAD guy, but it also talks about a number of, of local businesses that are in Savannah. I still find that in all my, I, the other day I talked to someone who, I didn't know that she actually owned this business that, you know, you get the things put in your yard and they, like, it's your birthday or flamingo or whatever, that you get like, hey, you just turned 25, 21, whatever the big age is now. And they sign into your yard. So it's actually done by SCAD grad. Um, so this is just a listing of, uh, just kind of just find kind of what some of our buildings are, and then also what some of the, the uh, SCAD alumni owned businesses are, that is a little link for some social information on there. Um, and it's, it's very, you know, I have, I said, I haven't been in Seattle long, I have a lot of my former students and that have, you know, relocated here. I talked to a young man the other day, and he works for um, DC Comics, and he's been working in LA, and he just decided, why am I in LA? So he just came back, so just moved back here. Um, I have a student who, his wife had to do a double take, and we, we had lunch the other day, because um, I taught him in uh, 1992, and he was in the same class, I was teaching with India RE, if you've heard of India. They were in the same class together, and. Um, he actually owns, he lives, works for, he's a senior vice president for uh, Forrester's Research, but he uh, works in Boston, but they bought a house here, and so he spends his time here with his family and coming. It was kind of a COVID move, they had a little kid, they said, oh, let's go get out of Boston. Uh, so, you know, a lot of that uh, sort of relationship of our alumni who, you know, love Savannah, and, um, you know, uh, I have myself, was, I'm a SCAD grad, and I did the same thing. I was living in Pennsylvania, and I had a chance to move back here 31 years ago, I'm like, Sign me up, you know, so uh, I've been back as well. And the last thing, um, these are sort of, I just got these, I didn't have very many, they're kind of out of the press, but I'll, so these are some summer activities um, that are taking place uh, at the museum, and um, they are for teenagers. Um, I'll leave these here. If you know of a teenager that would like to participate um, in it, and you feel that teenager may uh, maybe a stretch for them financially. Um, you mind if, I, if they can reach out to you? To, sure. Okay, sure. great. Um, and so you let Jason know, and you just, he can just send me an email. You can give, you can give him my email address, however you'd like to do it. But um, uh, and I'll basically scholarship um, those um, students in for any one of these like like that ten. So I'll leave this stack uh, here. I did bring, and I'll, I'll I don't think I have enough, but I, I did bring. I'll just leave the bag here. Um, if you would like to have. Um, these are just little grocery bags. So I have a bag of them. I think there may be enough, I'm not quite sure. But I'll leave the bag here, and okay. then um, you can have the orange bag if you like. Nice. I don't want to abuse my power. I'll see if I can give it away to somebody. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. Um, do you mind taking uh, so, a question or two? Uh, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so um, yeah, just that I really wanted to share with you just again the things that, uh, like I said, in terms of access. 
Now we do have, I mentioned a number of things, but we also, um, the Lucas Theater and Trustees Theater. And um, so we have performances. We're opening um, the circus version uh, of Pippin uh, next week, and that will run uh, from the 25th through wherever the Sunday day is. I can't remember off the top of my head, but. Um, and so we do a lot of productions like that. And typically, you know, the cost, the cost of Pippin is like $10. Um, so they're you know, usually not very expensive. We did, the play that goes wrong recently and people were blown, it was really well done. Um, you know, we have a full scale, um, you know, um, performing arts area. So there are lots of things like that. Or the film festival, you know, we see about 60,000 visitors a year for the film festival. Um, you know, one of our favorite people who comes from that is Miles Tiller, who this year was like kind of like a rock star. But Miles comes every year and he brings his grandmother and um, they come and it's like the thing that they do. Um, but the festival, I let the people in the community know that the festival is open to you um, to purchase individual tickets or passes. And so, uh, or again, we just not rerun like um, slow cinema or things like that. Um, you're welcome to look at those and, and attend. Um, sometimes they're open that we do a number of things. Like Lucas um, will do like um, uh, golden age um, uh, animation uh, features. And we'll run those uh, during the summer, and those are, you know, again, no cost um, when we run those. So uh, lots of things that are available, as I said, for you to kind of check out and come in um, to, to see. Uh, we are opening in um, the fall. We have a back lot that's opening. It's going to be a Hollywood studio on Louisville Road. Um, it's a, about a 12-acre site, and we'll be, um, we'll be, have that available at, for movies. And uh, it's very really student space, but uh, we've already had um, a lot of interest within the uh, movie making world utilizing the space. Um, it's, it'll be, a, again, a fairly sizable back lot uh, space that we'll be uh, opening up. So that's it. That's like a quick update on a lot of different things, but feel free to take any one of these items, and I certainly will take any questions. Yes? Not sure if you're the person to talk to about, but how, who would we talk to about changing SCAD? really makes SCAD look foolish and kind of pandering. And I don't think that's the, what you guys really want to do or be. Uh, I have a suggestion on where to reroute your buses to make it much more conducive to the neighborhood, to the people in the neighborhood, guests, and just as a whole. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Talk to? Um, you can talk to me. Uh, I will say, um, you know, that we have offered to the school that, you know, that so the crossing guards are, I, I've never thought of crossing guards are more crossing guards, but, but they're there, you know, again, it's a safety issue, making sure that, you know, anyone's crossing, but not just, you know, if you were crossing, um, they should certainly make sure they stop the traffic. Um, that's the point of this, is, you know, to stop the traffic when people are crossing the street. So, um, but I'd be happy to, to hear your ideas and, um, you know, uh, so my, my role is, again, to represent SCAD to the community. So, um, you know, I don't necessarily match the buses, but what I can do is to talk with our team and talk about, you know, um, you know, look at ideas. That never hurts to hear people's perspectives and ideas, so I will be open to that. I'll give you my car on the way out. On the bus note, there's also been times on 37 where they're blocking both lanes of 37 in front of that school. Oh, uh, Wallen Hall. Yeah, they are just be stacked across. So wow. all traffic is stopped, and I've seen people try to drive through the medians because they're trying to get to work and pick up kids Wait, and stuff. So help me, where, where are you again? What, what 37th is, up here. Um, I believe it's Wallen Hall, one of the yeah. foundation's buildings. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right, 37th. Yeah. 37th yeah. 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 is here. Yeah. 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 Literally right there, they're yeah. double stacked. They're double yeah. stacked. Yeah. They're blocked both lanes of 37. On oh, 37. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And like during rush hour. Yes, go ahead. Um, probably like a lot of people in the room who pay property tax. Um, my understanding is SCAD doesn't pay property tax, but I read that the assets of SCAD exceed a billion dollars. Um, Savannah is not exactly a wealthy city, and I know there are universities and colleges in different parts of the country that contribute to the wealth. 
local city government to cover police and fire and sewer and streets and et cetera, et cetera. Is SCAD ever going to be contributing to a lot of those costs that we all cover for SCAD right now? Well, um, I'll say a couple things about that. Um, so uh, our economic impact, and the last study we did was 2019, and so that was around $577 million in Savannah. And so that's an economic impact study. Um, we, of course, like anything, you know, we're always looking at what we're doing. Uh, right now, you know, we've determined that within our mission and that our focus is on using our funds to achieve our mission. And so that's our focus. To get us not mean, you know, that housing look in the future will always continue to evaluate and determine. I don't think I, in a community meeting, I got to say, yes, we will do X, Y, or Z. Um, I understand, and 500 million sounds like a lot of money, but you know, if you take the property tax involved in the citizens, uh, that would add up to quite a bit. And you know, it's not like your numbers are transparent. I mean, it's not that anybody can go through and check your your numbers. So um, that I mean, Yale and Harvard, and I'm sure they can say that they contribute a lot to their local economies too. Um, but still, you know, it's, I think it would do a lot for your, you know, relationship to citizens if they felt that of the 60-some buildings that you own and properties that you own, that you were chipping in on some of these things. And I agree wholeheartedly that I've seen 35th Street come to a screeching halt because it's blocked by buses. So well, I'll, I'll, these, look, I'll definitely look into both of those streets, street. and uh, so I'll leave my card with you know, to that um, you know I will say you know again that again from a security standpoint we do work with local law enforcement um, we do provide uh, shot spotter you had the incident that happened here recently um, a part of the response is based on our shot spotter technology in responding to you know if you know about the incident on 37th with the kidnapping um, but when the person fired the officer um, there was a way that the shot spotter actually helped um, you know expedite the response uh, to the situation. So that technology is all over uh, the city of Savannah, and it's, again, it's enabling uh, more effective law enforcement. Um, you know, we also then have our patrols who are, who are you know, in the city as well, and they work very closely with uh, local law enforcement, and so they make that commitment um, you know, as far as, you know, again, being a, being a cooperative citizen. All right, I've got, Virginia, go ahead, and I've got one more, and then we need to move on. We've got two more speakers. Yes, so we so we, we do we post a lot of things on the web, but I can certainly like send you um, you know like like you know any information like you know what's coming up. I can send it to Jason if he wants to share out. We have a newsletter. Uh, I have my assistant make sure that she just kind of gives you an update. We have, and we have someone who is not here right now, but who is our social media person. Moving on to the second uh, part of my question is, is SCAD interested in working with the residents to get safe street crossings along Bull Street, Drayton Street, between your buildings and your residents? Are you willing to work with us to get that to the head in the city? Um, I'd love to talk more about what that entails. Um, you know, we're, we're, I'm, I'm here right now because of our interest. I mean, I, I wouldn't, you know, I came tonight so that, and I reached out to Jason, I've talked to you know, all the Neighborhood Association presidents, and you know, working to say, you know, uh, hey, I, you know, on behalf okay, of Scott, at least point us in the direction that we can approach someone about it. It'll be me. I mean, I, what I'll do is, you know, we, we have an operations and security team. And what I would do is kind of work with them and talk about, well, what's the plan? And then determine like, um, you know, what does it look like, and what's the city doing? What do we do? How do we engage with that? But, um, but I, I don't know if I buy to speak to say we'll do something. But I'd love no, to hear I, and I learn. I expect you to go out and do something. I expect you. I would like 
you to work with the residents to improve the pedestrian ways within the neighborhood? Because you have a lot of pedestrians in your As I said, I walk, I, you know, we, we walk to church most Sundays or we ride our bikes. So I'm through this neighborhood all the time. And you know, I have to admit, I go to slide, slide, and get the fries. There are way too many times I should. But, but so, you know, I, so I'm in the neighborhood a lot. Um, but definitely interested in, in talking with you and, um, and seeing how we can, um, you know, we, we have a thing at SCAS called um, um, uh, SCAS Serve, and uh, we do a lot of community partnerships uh, through SCAS Serve. So I may look at that as a, as a way for that type of project, do it through SCAS Serve, or maybe we have a class to develop a concept, or we look at, you know, but, but we certainly can be very interested in talking about it. Okay, last thing, we'll let you go. Uh, as you said, you're here tonight because you reached out to me as neighborhood president and to all the neighborhood presidents. Yes. And to my knowledge, that's the first time that's come from a SCAD representative. So is this part of your portfolio as vice president? Is this a renewed effort to you know, reach out and be part of the community? How would you describe this effort? Well, I, as I mentioned, I, that's why I to show you why I, did, why I got up here was because I've always been a part of the community. Right. And, uh, and I've always been a part of SCAD. And um, you know, I have, um, you know, my, my sort of upbringing was um, to be in service. I served on lots of boards in the city. I've been involved in uh, lots of civic activity uh, in my time being here. So um, that's not new for me. Um, I, I really brought, you know, so it's like, for example, SCAD serves. That was really the genesis of a lot of work I was doing. Uh, we formalized it because used to people call my house and we had two phone lines. And I'm like, okay, okay, let them call that number. Because you know, doing so much in the community and people wanted to reach out, we didn't have that was pre-cell phone. People have ways to reach, so we um, formalized that outreach into SCAS serves, and I just included myself. Gotcha. Uh, so uh, we have had our previous vice president for SCAS Savannah um, did work a lot within the community, um, and um, you know, I think everyone brings their you know, he did a lot with the chamber in some of the areas, um, and maybe not have been a neighbor association president. Myself, um, I it's a natural thing for me to know to reach out to neighborhoods. So, um, you know, so part of it is just thinking about the things that I naturally am inclined to do, whether it's working with nonprofits or faith organizations. But I've done it for you know for three decades, well, longer three decades, but right, <laughs> three decades right. scad and then plus. Yeah. Well, we appreciate it, and we hope that we'll talk much more in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, we've got two more to go.